So I'm, I'm probably going to go up instead. I think up's like my best option. I got poison. If I got, well that's why I ran and then I, <laughs> I ran and healed the poison up the stairs because I ran up the stairs and did it. I did not ban you, Will. <laughs> what the hell? I did not ban you. I get poisoned, you go extinct. <laughs> GG easy. Like that was reckless and stupid. Oh my god, if I get poisoned again, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh yeah, I guess there is like, uh, magnum ammo in this room, right? I never go in this room. But I'll go in this room because I need the I need that magnum ammo for later. I literally never go in that room. And I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Like that's the only magnum ammo. Maybe, let me go check. Because there's another lantern that I could light over here. I, like I'm so unfamiliar with what, what's in this room. Because I never come in here. Shotgun ammo. Alright. It's worth it. How many of you guys even knew that room was there? <laughs> oh, you can't. I almost forgot. You almost got me this time, video game, but I'm not falling for it. You almost got me this time, but you didn't. <laughs> Annette. I have to talk to her. I have to talk to her. Leon, you're blocking my path. Guys, if you have a fear of bugs, look away now. Okay, so you know what's really cool? Ada has the gun in her hand right now, and when you go around this corner, like, I'm pretty sure Annette shoots the gun out of your hand, but if you unequip the gun, that doesn't happen. See, you just get shot at. How many times have I finished this game? 4,000 times. Was I ever a Tomb Raider girl? Yeah, I was. I, I, early on. Just like, I, I, I like the originals. Do I like the Tomb Raider reboots? I played the first two. I bought the third one. I haven't played it yet, though. This cutscene used to scare the living shit out of you. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. And you see, like, if if you actually approach that cutscene with the gun in hand, Annette would shoot the gun out of your hand. And when Ada bitch slaps Annette off the the railing, she would pick the gun back up. It's so cool. That's a detail that I I, I learned about last year when I made the the RE298 video. Yeah, DMC5 has a similar thing where in some of the cutscenes, uh, if you walk into them, if you run into them, or if you jump into them, you will s that will be reflected in the at the very start of the cutscene. Which is like, it's just mind-blowing that they even thought to do that. If you guys have never heard about that, like, you gotta look that up. It's so insane. Like, Itsuno is a, is a madman. He's a madman. Haha, <laughs> you didn't fool me this time. You fooled me last time, but not this time. Now I got my crank. Or, uh, sorry, the valve. <laughs> Itsuno is a mad lad. I didn't know he was British. <laughs> Itsuno is underrated compared to other video game geniuses of Japan. I think the reason why he's underrated, like, obviously we know and love him. I think the reason why he's underrated is because he's a very normal person outside of making video games, you know? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain in a second what I just said. So Itsuno, unlike, cause a lot of Japanese game devs, they're like, they always like act really silly, right? Like on the internet and just in like how they like present their games and, and, and talk about them in interviews. Itsuno is a guy that goes to work and makes the game. And then he uh, goes home and rides his bike around. And that's what he does. He doesn't like fuck around at all. And he follows everyone on Instagram or on Twitter. He's just like, oh, you're a fan of my game? Cool, I'll give you a file, a follow. What do I think of Soul Calibur? I love it. Seriously, if you guys don't follow Itsuno on Instagram, he, he goes bike riding a lot. He's just like, okay. Is it true that Yoko Taro follows me on Twitter? He does follow me on Twitter. I've spoken to him a few times before. <laughs> We're almost done with this here video game. <laughs> Nice Min Min art, thank you. The Min Min art was done by uh, an artist named Vil Art, who was really good. Is Harley Quinn a Batman villain? Because <laughs> she's kind of like an anti-hero at this point. 